In this video, we're going to go over the radiographic positioning for the nasal bones. Primary projections include the lateral and the waters view. Some facilities may require right and left laterals to be performed. Additional views include the PA Caldwell and the superior inferior tangential projection. We've recently removed the latter view since it's not included on the registry any longer. For the waters view of the nasal bones, the part positioning and central ray are identical to that of the waters view for the facial bones. With the MSP perpendicular to the IR, extend the neck so the OML forms a 37 degree angle with the plane of the IR. This should also place the mentomietal line, or MML, perpendicular to the IR and projects the petrous ridges below the maxillary sinuses. The CR should be perpendicular to exit the acanthian with the collimated field minimized to a 3 by 3 inch size to include the orbits and maxillary sinuses. For the lateral nasal bones, position the patient upright or recumbent in the anterior oblique position. The MSP of the head should be horizontal in the recumbent position and parallel with the tabletop. Keep the IPL perpendicular to the tabletop and the IOML should be parallel with the transverse axis of the IR. The CR should enter perpendicular to the bridge of the nose at a point one half inch distal to the nasion. Collimate to a field size of three by three inches. The field should extend from the glabella to the acanthion and one half inch beyond the tip of the nose. 